So I'm uh, Alexandre Catlian from GTT, Gas Transport and Technigas, French company. GTT has been doing LNG tanks for the last 60 years. Now it's not only LNG, it's uh, many other kinds of liquids. In particular, we're developing also uh, ammonia tanks. But uh, our focus has been on, uh, on the LNG carriers and the LNG onshore tanks. The topic of my presentation was the, the booming uh, LNG industry and how GTT is involved in this uh, booming markets because it's several markets, the LNG as a cargo. So we have a crazy number of uh, LNG carrier orders, but also the LNG as fuel. We have close to 500 ships on the sea fueling on the LNG and close to 1,000 ships uh, that will be delivered by the end of the 2026. So the presentation was about how we deal with this booming market and how we keep innovating uh, at the same time. So bringing innovation, of course, for the containment systems for, for the tanks to make them more performant, let's say, but uh, also the, the ship design, the LNG carrier design, the next generations. How we um, also make, uh, try to make the, the tanks, the onshore terminals more flexible with the possibility to switch from LNG to ammonia in the future. And eventually I was talking about our developments in the, in the LNG fuel business with um, also more performance tanks, making sure the ships can use LNG safely and uh, with very low boil off, which means no emissions. I was quite impressed uh, when we had the opening speech uh, yesterday morning. Uh, I mean, the, the, the room is quite big and the room was full. So I'm um, very happy to, to be able to talk uh, in front of such a big audience. Uh, it's quite a diverse audience. So we have uh, EPC companies that will be our partners to make uh, new uh, onshore terminals. We have many LNG companies, of course, big oil and gas players. Uh, actually, some, uh, some guys from the, uh, from the shipping uh, market looking for LNG as fuel. So, as I said, very diverse uh, attendees and uh, totally makes sense to be there. I think there are many innovations and that's at the heart of, uh, of GTT. I would say it's our, in, in our DNA. Um, there is innovation in, uh, in, t in the tanks themselves. What we try to do is reduce as much as possible the boil off, the natural evaporation of, uh, of gas, of LNG. Uh, to make sure the ships are emitting as less as possible. We are um, also improving the designs of these ships that will be carrying the LNG around the world. Uh, make sure they are still compliant when we look at 2030, 2040 and, uh, and forward. Um, as I said before, the innovation on the, uh, on the onshore terminals is, is more about their flexibility to switch to another cargo, uh, I would say to greener cargo in the future. So whether it, be, it, it will be uh, bio or synthetic LNG, which doesn't change anything for the tanks, or uh, will it be green uh, ammonia, then you need to have some particular, uh, say some particular materials like uh, stainless steel, and that's what we have as a technology. Uh, the gala dinner was amazing. Uh, for me, it was the first uh, First time for this uh, conference. I mean, the, the, the colleagues have been there before, and uh, I think the, the place, the location, was uh, of course really nice. Being in Milano for this uh, tenth anniversary is is quite a good choice. Uh, and uh, the Galleria where uh, we uh, we stayed for the dinner was uh, impressive. So I had a very very nice evening, uh, a very nice uh, anniversary. And, uh, and again, very interesting discussions around the tables. Actually, uh, Alia and Kate were really uh, following us from not, not just during the <laughs> not just during the conference, but even before to prepare uh, to prepare the meetings to know what we are looking for, uh, in particular in terms of uh, of contact. Uh, for the booth organization. So uh, I would say very performant 
uh, efficient uh, team, very close to us, uh, making sure we have the right contacts during the, these two days, which is quite short, uh, short time. Uh, and so I'm very pleased for the, with, the, with the team.